Well, we wanted to uh, want to give some other guys some playing time and get them the ball and move it around a little bit. And this is our toughest game so far. You know, we only scored 20, 24, I think. These guys are tough, man. They were aggressive. They got after it every play, and I like that. It was good. They're probably one of the better coach teams that we've seen so far. Um, but you know, we got our lead, and we just we want to get these guys to play time and get them coached up and and, and do that. So. What is a game in which uh, two cards, two quarters of your points was tell a fan about the game or someone who knows anything about the game? That's just how it goes sometimes. You know, football is unpredictable. One day you might score 74 and the other day you might score nothing. So it's just uh, one of the things that makes it exciting for fans is that you can show up and I mean, you really have no idea what's going to happen in a game. It, you know, football, they say any given Sunday, which means any given Sunday you show up and you have no idea what's going to happen. So. It's a popular movie out here, too. So. Yeah, the first quarters were played in rainy conditions, right? Yeah, you know, it's funny how the weather changed on us. We, we first got out here, and it was, it was cold, rainy, windy. And now it's gorgeous. I wish we would have played later. But, you know, that made it tough right off the bat because when it's rainy and, and windy, you can't really throw the ball. Um, we weren't getting balls right off quick enough. And, uh, you know, we had to rely on a run game, which is good. Guys are tough up front blocking. Uh, Kubo's running strong. He's, he's a good running back. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. He was uh, walking around. I think he might have twisted his ankle a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't want to speculate, but I, I think he'll be back in time for our next game. I am satisfied uh, a little bit. We um, This is the best team we've played so far. Um, I can't say enough about how these guys have coached well. Um, they played hard. And this wasn't even the biggest team we played. The guy I went against, he may be like four feet tall. I don't know. That's probably like 90 centimeters. <laughs> he was a short guy, and he played harder than any guy I played against. He was not scared of me. He came and was trying to attack me. The other teams we played, guys – were scared and they didn't play hard. Um, so I'm proud that these guys were able to compete with a team that played as hard and they were physical. So yeah, I'm satisfied with that. You didn't lose points again. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said before, about this is what third game we haven't let up a score. Um, that's um, that's hard to do. It's not easy. Um, we're going to try to go the whole season and stop that from happening. If you look around any sport, um, it's funny you say it's boring. How many soccer matches in 1-0? <laughs> 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 but uh, it's, it's a tough thing to do. If we're able to accomplish that, I mean, that's showing how great our defense is. So we have to keep that going. If everybody finds it boring, I hope it's boring the whole season. That means we're doing our job. Um, it wasn't a close game, but at the end of the game, you had to see, like, these guys went inside the locker room, they made changes, and said, all right, this is how we're going to stop their offense, and that's what happened. That, that's what good coaching is about. They have two good coaches over there. They have a coach from Colorado. I, I don't know where the other coach is from, but these guys know football, and they probably went in and saw what we were doing on offense and made adjustments. Uh, that was it, and that's why they were able to do a better job the second half. So, I mean, it's just coaching one-on-one. -on -one. As you saw, this is the first team that actually – put more than one person on Tyler because Tyler usually runs free and catches touchdowns. This team came out and said, you know, Tyler, is a, he's going to score touchdowns. Let's try to get coverage on him to uh, try to stop that. And he was able to make plays still, but 
they they watched the film and saw that, all right, let's try to stop Tyler. They made the right changes. That's just good coaching they were doing. That's all it is. They also lost their uh, lens uh, near the end, so uh, how much, how, how big a blow is it? Um, I don't even know how long he's out for. Um, it, it's what, what sucks is that uh, he is our um, D coordinator. He's the one who makes all the coverage is the one thing that if he wasn't there today, we usually run a 4-4 defense. In the middle of the game, we switch to a 4-3. We have never coached a 4-3 for the three months we've been out here. So he was able to make changes in the middle of the game to for our defense to play better against their offense. So that is a blow because he's an on-field coach, and we're going to have to work harder now on working on different packages and coverages when he's not there. Do you think the fans who came with the Silesia Minos are kind of an example for, for the fans in Wrocław? Of course, I said this. I said this last week when you asked me. These these uh, they traveled and they still chanted no matter what the score was, no matter what was going on. They chanted that. That's what this whole thing is about. We need more fans like that. And after their fans came out here and they were allowed as the fans from Wrocław, they're doing the right thing. They got a good team. They got good coaches. They got good fans. So I hope other teams see this and just say, you know what, we want to do the same thing because it's a beautiful thing when you have teams cheering with fans on one side and fans on the other side. How was it to play in those rainy conditions for the first corner? Those games are always boring, and those are the games I hate to play because as a defensive back, you get no action. They just run the ball because it's hard to throw a slippery ball when it's wet. So they ran the ball, and they did little short routes to the sideline, and it was very hard for me at safety to make a play. And, uh, you know, on offense, you can't really throw the ball either, so it slows the game down. But, I mean, it was... It was okay. You know, the beginning of the game, I, I was like, I don't want to play. It's raining. And the game in general, I mean, it's cold and off of it. Well, first of all, it was cold. It was windy. And it was raining again. Um, but that team was a good team. Seems like every week we face better and better teams. It makes us play a lot better. This team's uh, offense, I mean, they knew what they were doing as far as offensively. And then they had, like, a lot, they had a lot more athletes than what I expected. But it was a good game. Obviously, like every other team we played, it was a great match. Uh, you know, we just went out there and just played hard again. Am I coming back to train? Yeah, I'll, I'll be. We'll be all right. We'll be back out there tomorrow. No, I'm just playing. I'm gonna take maybe take tomorrow off, Monday, watch some film, and be back at it again. Be ready for the Lowlanders. Uh, what does this uh, the second half have to like no points, right? And what does that have to tell? That doesn't mean that either team was not good. You want games like that where, you know, there's not a lot of scoring, you know, because that means it's a good match. Both teams are, you know, even. <laughs> Make a bitch wanna throw him out, and that's no doubt. Me and Rock Bell, I tell the cool in the potential, baby, can't tell. Let's let the hell out. And I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'm doing the round.